Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCoder.com and welcome to my Python for Beginners tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll go over how to install Python as well as how we could go ahead and create our first Python program. So before we get started, let's talk about some of the things you could do with Python. You can develop websites, so you could do some backend web development. If you're interested in working with and analyzing data, it can be used for data science, machine learning, stuff like that. All right, so from here, I have two websites that I have opened. I have python.org open because we need to install Python before we actually program in it. And on my second tab, I have an editor. And the editor that I'm going to be using throughout this tutorial is Visual Studio Code. So let's go ahead and install Python. So first we're going to head over to python.org, go to the download section. And here it should pop up with your OS. So right now I'm on Windows and it gives me an option to download Python 3.9. Once I have this downloaded, go ahead and click the installer. Now, this is a very important step. We're going to have to check add Python 3.9 to path. And this is so we can access Python within the command line. Next, we go ahead and click install. And this will go ahead and install. All right, setup was successful. So this is good to go. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Now, all we need to do is install our editor. I like using Visual Studio Code because it has a built-in terminal, so we could combine everything into one thing. Uh, but you're more than welcome to use your own editor and it should work just the same. So I already have Visual Studio Code downloaded, so I'm not going to download and install it, but you go to code.visualstudio.com, go ahead and download it and install it. Once you do that, let's go ahead and minimize this. So from here, you can see that I have an empty folder and this is where we're going to store all our Python source code. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and open up our editor. So right here, I have Visual Studio Code opened. Let's go ahead and get rid of this welcome screen and we're going to go to file and we're going to open the folder. So we have Python tutorials. Now you could create this folder anywhere you want. I just created it on my desktop because it's easier for me. So now we have Python tutorials open with Visual Studio Code. And what we need to do is create our Python file. So what I'm going to do is open up the package explorer. So I'm just going to hit control B to open it up and you'll see we're in Python tutorials. If you don't have control B because you're on a Mac, I don't know the shortcut, but you could go to view and I believe you could go to Explorer. So it'll bring this package Explorer up. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click this icon for new file. And we're gonna call this tutorial one. And you must give your file the extension of PY for Python. Okay, so we have this empty file here. Let's go ahead and hit control B again to get rid of the Explorer. And we're going to write our first Python code. So first we're going to use a function that's built into Python. And don't worry if you don't know what a function is, we are going to be creating our own functions later within this tutorial series. So the function is called print and print. We could use it by saying print and then using parentheses. Now within our parentheses, what we can do is give a string. So we're going to use these double quotes. And again, don't get too worried. We're just checking to see if our Python installed correctly. So within here, we have double quotes, which means we want to print a string. And what we're going to do is say, hello world. And this should print hello world onto the console for us. So let's go ahead and save. And this is our first Python code that we have written. Now it's time to actually run this Python code. So we're going to have to bring up the terminal. So you come up here to terminal, you go to new terminal and here we go. So here's our terminal and I have the command line prompt selected as my default terminal. The first time you run visual studio code, 
it should be PowerShell, I believe. But you could change that by coming down here and saying select default shell and you have command prompt here. Okay, so go ahead and click command prompt and it should open up CMD like so. So from here, we need to tell Python that we want to run this file. So in order to do that, we'll just say Python followed by the file name. So we'll say tutorial one.py. And there you go. So you see that we have hello world being printed out here. So if you followed the tutorial correctly, you should have installed Python. We have our editor set up and you should be able to have the following output of hello world. So that is pretty much all I wanted to cover within this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.